Hi guys, welcome back to Game Dev with AI, our journey, our place where we're developing our first real-time strategy game, an indie game with the help of tools of AI. If you are watching this video, it means the demo for our game is already available on Steam. So if you have a moment to support it, just go to Steam, search for Nuke Them All and click Wishlist. This will really help, you don't have to buy anything, but just wishlisting it will help me a lot developing this game. Alright, without, without further ado, let's dive in the topic of this quick video. As you know, obviously I'm a big fan of AI and all the exciting technology that comes with it. But this topic is really controversial, so today I decided to make a topic on Facebook and ask the community of game developers uh, pros and cons of using AI in game dev, especially in indie game development. And I got over almost uh, 100 comments here with people sharing their opinions, a lot of controversies, a lot of heated debates. Some people love using AI, some are completely against it. It's been a very exciting conversation and obviously I will try to quickly summarize it and comment and give my opinion on each pro and con. When you want to have a quick summary and there are way too many comments to read, what you can do is just click view page source, then copy all this code and save it as PDF. For example, you can save it in Microsoft Word then we can go to a service called chatgpt.com, sorry, chatpdf.com, and that's a place where you can upload your article or your text in PDF format, and it will automatically get rid of this code and only read the comments, and then it will prepare a quick summary for you. This is very helpful when you have way too much text to process and you need to prepare a quick summary. This by itself is a great advantage of using AI. It will take me hours and hours just to read through all these comments. So let's start with pros. The first one, it's potentially cheaper than hiring human artists. And this is definitely true. For example, if you go to Fiverr, the usual place where I hire designers and artists, and I search for character design, and you need to select pro services, otherwise you, you get unacceptably low results. And you want somebody to, to make a professional art for you, you can instantly see the prices. 240 and that is from, it means it's much more expensive if you want like several poses, several um, positions and angles of the body. Preparing character sheet is extremely expensive, look, 500 euros and 100, 200 euros, 300 euros. So that is from, it means for just one, and that's a standard package. And if you go to premium, the price goes up and up and up. That is crazy. And I think if you're a game developer like me, who is not an artist, and I'm not sure if you can afford an artist for this kind of prices, unfortunately. This is just a sad reality. For most of the indie developers, it's just out of our budget hiring artists for just one single character. And I have hundreds of characters in my game. Plus you need menu, you need GUI, you need uh, backgrounds. So this will be like $50,000 just for an art. And this is unacceptably high. Meanwhile, if we go to Midjourney, which is also not free, obviously, but the subscription is not that expensive. And if you uh, run Midjourney to, with a prompt to create character sheet, then it will automatically provide you with all different positions of the character, looking left, right, with different expressions. And you can even in paint select an area and then change his face, change the sunglasses, change position of the legs, and all of that you can do in just a matter of minutes, not hours. So you can try different characters, you can see which one will fit your game, and you can experiment. You can do a lot of things 
all the different characters you can do in just a matter of minutes. The downside here, and I'll be honest again, because I've been working a lot with Midjourney, is keeping consistency. So Midjourney can make this tractor for you, but if I want to, to turn this tractor, for example, facing up, facing down, it will completely redraw the tractor. It doesn't keep enough of consistency. That's the main problem with art, and you need to be ready to it, to deal with this. So what you can do to keep consistency? You can use in painting. So for example, you change the body, but then you in paint the head. You can use Photoshop AI. For example, you can change, you take body from one character and you want to keep this face. You just put the face on top of this one. So he will redraw the face. You can see here and here, the faces are different. But if you copy and put uh, the face on this one, you'll get this robot in this position. I hope it makes sense. So there are some tricks that you can use to make consistency, but it's extremely difficult, I'll be honest here. With a human artist, consistency is another problem. So the style of his art is not a problem of consistency, but working with an artist for a long time, and it takes many months or maybe years to develop your indie game, it's very hard to maintain the relationship with a single artist. I've been working with designers for the last 20 years myself, not just in game dev, but also websites. And artists, I'll be honest, are not very reliable. Some of them burn out, some of them find another job, which is more profitable for them. So they lose interest in your game. And after that, that will be extremely difficult to find somebody who can draw in exactly the same style that you want. Because the new artist will come and he start working in his own style. So, for example, if I start my game with this guy and this alien, and then I hire this guy and ask him to draw in this style, he doesn't know how to do it. He has his own style, see? And this will be extremely difficult to match the style of the previous artist, which is for AI is not a problem at all. The next pro is it can generate art quickly and efficiently. You know, with an artist, it will take you about three, four days for the first sketch and maybe three, four days more to finalize uh, the first sketch. And you'll be getting only one character. And if you don't like it, you pay again and start all over again and wait again and again. This will take just forever. With me, Johnny, I can generate all my robots maybe in five minutes, okay, this one I don't like, this one I don't like, let's try again, mm -hmm. this one looks better, this one looks better, so I can experiment with all these robots in just a matter of minutes, and I don't need to pay $600 to make each one, I hope it makes sense, this will really speed up your game development. And finally, it can be used to create consistent art style through the game, this is what we just discussed, If we maintain the similar prompt, as you can see, the style is very consistent. And that's the biggest problem with human artists, like I just explained. If you lose connection to the previous artist and want to hire somebody else, he will have a hard time matching the style of the previous guy. All right, let's get to the cons and disadvantages of using AI art. AI art is not as versatile as human art and may not understand certain prompts. <laughs> I definitely agree with this one. Mid Journey and all the other AI generators, they have their own brain. Even if you describe everything in such a delicate detail, it has sometimes hard time understanding what you're asking from, especially in certain topics like military for example in my game i need some tanks some robots and you can see it has no understanding of what mobile missile launcher is it's just creating a lot of nonsense without any understanding we would probably agree that human artist will never draw such abomination <laughs> it will be much easier to communicate with the human artist to explain what you want and get details without this 
complete nonsense and you have to spend a lot of time going through all this complete nonsense trying to figure out what you're trying to do the solution i found is that you give existing images as a input for the prompt for example like here i give an input of the volcano and then it lets me join understand what i want from them better than just giving a text prompt so for example for mobile missile launcher i can give an input prompt for example high mars existing military vehicle and then maybe it will create some of the more natural looking vehicles but you can see still it's a lot of a lot of nonsense especially if you are in specific topic that majority doesn't have a lot of knowledge about with human artists obviously you'll never have such problem next one without human artists a game may lack the proper art style art bible and its style may suffer this is definitely true if you don't have your own art taste you will really suffer finding a quality consistency in game art if you don't maintain the same mid journey prompts you will really suffer keeping different objects in your game in the same art style with the with real humans you'll never have, have such a problem because if you have an artist working a specific style he will always use the same style for all objects in your game and he will keep it consistent ai art may be perceived as generic on cheap leading to public backlash with this one i completely disagree maybe like a year ago when those art generators were just getting started with mid journey early versions obviously that was true but now mid journey is as good as it gets mid journey can create real masterpieces for you in a matter of minutes and you can see if you just go to their groups and discord you can see people are generating outstanding quality art photorealistic in different styles and you simply will not be able to match the quality of such illustrations on such a high level for those 300 500 dollars this quality of art if it's produced by the professional company will cost you thousands so this is unmatched quality so i completely disagree that somehow ai art is lacking quality there was also a related issue in the comments saying that ai art is not an art but to be honest i don't want to get into this debate the truth is and there is no authority in the world saying that this is art and this is not art so this is really a pointless discussion and it's a waste of time especially if you're developing an indie game it's really pointless wasting your time on discussing what is art you can argue that anybody who is a photographer he never learned how to draw so that would mean he's a not an artist as well or somebody is working in photoshop creating amazing images and doesn't know how to draw he's not an artist as well i think all is this is pointless and my point is that ai is a tool that will help you get results quicker and more efficiently and it's really not a matter of discussion if it's an art or it's not art if you get results that you're looking for if people like what you see then you get the point done And the final and very controversial topic, usually pushed by real artists who want to slow down the progress of AI development because they're going to lose their jobs, that AI cannot be used commercially, that you cannot sell games if you make them with help of AI, you cannot copyright that. Again, I will not get into the details. I'm not a lawyer and I'm not very interested in these pointless discussions. I just say that uh, yes you can use art that is generated by Midjourney commercially 
if you have a paid subscri subscription to MidJoin. So let's just close this pointless discussion that you cannot use it commercially. And regarding can you copyright art, can you not copyright, these laws are changing as we speak. Now with AI getting so popular, next year's the laws obviously will ease and allow people to use AI and copyright the images. I know, for example, right now in the United States, you can copyright AI if there is some human input to it. And obviously there is always human input to it because you cannot make a game just by still images. You'll have to do a lot of work to animate them, um, to edit the characters the way you want. So there is a lot of work involved anyway. In Europe, there are no laws about this yet. In Japan, I think you can copyright AI art. And I think it's, again, pointless discussion because we are making a game here. We are not going to be selling images. We are going to use AI as a way for us to help make a game. This is not a still image art gallery we are talking about. So copywriting specific images is pointless because there are thousands of images and some of them we need to use some of AI in others we don't and this is completely pointless again discussion in a terms of AI in game dev it's like discussing can I use Photoshop in, in my game I mean come on it's pointless yes you can use all the tools that are available to you to get ahead of competition and that's the point that I'm trying to address here to summarize the fight between people who are pro AI art and against AI art reminds me of the fight between horse riders and first early cars back 100 years ago in 1920s. So if you want it or if you don't want it, you have to embrace the new technology. So sooner or later, people will stop using the cards and horses and switch to cars anyway. So faster you adopt those technologies, faster you learn Majorni and all other AI art generators, the more advantage you'll have in the marketplace. So my point is AI art will not replace the human artist, but it will definitely help those artists that use them in a daily basis. You'll have a competitive advantage over others. So if you're an artist, instead of wasting your time fighting, AI just adopt those tools. It's the same like with Photoshop. Start using those tools. They will help you get results faster. And that's my opinion about this. And I think next year it will be much easier to copyright AI art, to use it everywhere. The mass adoption will start everywhere because people just see amazing qualities and amazing advantages that AI is providing us. And finally, if you're saying that AI is stealing other people's work, it's training on other people's work, but so exactly what other artists are doing. Everyone is learning by learning other people's work. That is how artists are trained. So there is no difference here at all. Anyways, let me know in the comments below what you think about AI art. Are you going to use it in your indie game development or you think it's not an art, <laughs> it shouldn't be used, it should be only hiring the real human artists. So I'm very interested in both opinions. Obviously <laughs> my channel is about AI, so I'm pro <laughs> AI, but I understand you might have different opinion. So let me know in the comments below and see you soon. Take care. Cheers.